Welcome to game 9 of the World Chess Championship being played in New York City 2016 between Magnus Carlsen the champion and Sergei Karyakin the challenger. This specific game 9 played on the 23rd of November 2016 and we have Sergei Karyakin with the white pieces and Magnus Carlsen with the black pieces. It's important to note that after Carlsen's catastrophic loss with white during game 8 He's desperately keen on uh, turning the tables and restoring equilibrium in the match, considering that they, after the game eight, there were only at the start of this game only uh, four games left in the match and not many opportunities to pull equal with Kariakin or, for that matter, win the match altogether. And this game specifically started off with e4, and then you had e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop e5, a6, bishop a4, knight f6, castle short, b5, bishop b3, bishop c5. And uh, often referred to as the archangel variation of the Spanish opening, and the way the game played itself out, Carlsen most certainly needed all his archangels working for him as much as possible. Continuing with a4, rook b8, c3, d6, d4, uh, bishop b6, a takes b5, a takes b5, knight a3, castle short, knight takes b5, bishop g4, bishop c2, e takes d4, knight on b takes d4, knight takes d4, c takes d4, bishop f3, takes f3, g takes an f3, knight h5, king h1, and we've effectively gone by move 17 straight out of the opening and straight through into an endgame position. Continuing with queen f6, bishop e3, c5, uh, e5, queen e6, e takes an d6, c4. And the uh, unusual move at this point and uh, to be moving the uh, pawn forward to uh, to c5 or to uh, from c uh, from c5, but it keeps the uh, center closed and capturing on d6 and creating mating threats uh, with uh, after uh, bishop c7 is definitely. Um, what he uh, Carlson would be looking at in the long term. B3, C takes on B3, uh, Bishop takes on B3, Queen takes on D6, Rook A6, Rook F to D8, Rook G1, Queen D7, Rook G4, Knight F6, Rook H4, Queen B5, Rook A1, G6. And this move is generally useful, uh, providing a Luft for Black's King in order to be able to prevent any back rank problems uh, cropping up later on in the game. Rook b1, queen d7, queen d3, knight uh, d5, rook g1, bishop c7, bishop g5, rook e8, queen c4, rook b5, queen c2, uh, rook a8, Bishop c4, rook b to a5, bishop d2, rook a4, queen d3, rook a1, rook takes an a1, rook takes an a1 with check, king g2, knight e7. And this is almost a decisive mistake here on uh, Carlson, Carlson's part, and it allows Karyakin to come storming through with an attack, and bearing in mind that uh, Karyakin is already a point up in the match, winning this game would have absolutely... Uh, capitulated his position altogether. Continuing with bishop takes an f7, king takes an f7, queen c4, check, king g7, d5, knight f5, bishop c3, check, king f8, rook, bishop a, takes an a1, knight takes an h, a4 with check, queen takes an h4, queen d5, and it became clear that Carlsen was not going to lose the game, and white is not winning the uh, winning h7 and his pawn advantage is not enough to be able to cause black significant problems. Kalyakin tried hard to create progress here but it was to no avail with the game finishing along the lines of queen f6 check, queen f7, queen d4, king e8, queen c4, 
queen e4, queen e7, queen d5, bishop d8, king f1, queen f7, queen e4, check, queen e7, bishop e5, queen e6, king g2, king e7, rook, so queen a8, check, king f7, queen h8, h5, queen g7, check, king e8, bishop f4, queen f7, queen h8, check, queen f8, queen d4, queen f5, queen c4, king d7, bishop d2, queen e6, queen a4, check, queen c6, queen a7, check, queen c7, queen a2, queen d6, bishop e3, queen e6, queen a7, check, king e8, bishop c5, bishop d8, h3, queen d5, bishop e3, bishop e7, queen b8, check, king f7, queen h8, queen e6, bishop f4, queen f6, queen b8, queen e6, queen b7, king g8, queen b5, and bishop f6, and finally, Kadiakin gave up trying to force the win. Carson survived the incredibly difficult position, and if he had lost this game, it would have completely decided the match in the challenger's favor. For game uh, 10, remember that Carlson has a critical game with White that he has to try and win be, in order to be able to try and convert the match uh, overall into his favor. That brings me to the end of my report on Game 9 of the World Championship match between Magnus Carlsen and Sergio Kayakin played in New York City 2016. As I mentioned, um, Game 9 being played on the 23rd of November 2016. Be sure to like and share this video, post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And last but by no means least, remember, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Vega.